Hi, Scorpio. It's L here to do your weekly reading. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. Scorpio, all my links are in the description box if you want to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. How does the week unfold for Scorpio? All right, the lovers. Very nice. All right, so you could be in some loving uh, relationship, but you know, it could be very hot and heavy, very sexual. Um, you guys, a lot of chemistry between you and your person. Let's see. Oh, a relationship, the house here, something is arriving for you. Could be a relationship. Um, yeah, definitely something more solid, stable in this connection here. There's growth happening. Let's see what else is happening for Scorpio this week. Oh, marriage and distant horizon. Wow. Okay. So you could be getting married, thinking about getting married. This is in the distant horizon. You want to um, maybe make the commitment with a particular person. You got somebody on your heart, on your mind here. You know, there's hard work or it's been hard work in this relationship. Or it's been hard work dealing with them or them dealing with you or it's mutual. It says that if this is... I don't know, you know, when the distant horizon is far from the significator, which is the lover's card, it says that it could happen. It's a maybe, but it's definitely in your dreams and your hopes and your wishes that you want to be in a committed relationship with a particular person here. Um, this could be a long engagement too. Let's see what's going on for you this week, Scorpio. All right, so let's clarify the lovers. Clarify the lovers. All right, Eight of Cups. So wondering, you know, is this really going to turn into um, a real relationship? Trying to finish something up and move into the next phase of you're kind of over, waiting, over, dealing with, over this, over that. Okay. Um, we're going to put these back in here because I'm not exactly sure. Uh, you, you cut off communication with somebody could be a Sagittarius let's see what is the house card what is the house card clarify the house card for Scorpio a decision needs to be made though you need to decide you know are you marrying this person is it happening or you want this person to decide like we you can't be strung along or you can't do this any longer let's see was a house card ten of wands yeah it's like you need to release this it's like you can't keep the ten of wands is just like w just continuously um walking in something or walking toward it not knowing where you're going just carrying the burden just showing up for it whatever it is each and every day not knowing you know being on autopilot here and it's like again back to that energy of just like what are we doing here you know it's good but uh i thought we were getting married all right, clarify marriage for me. Uh, yeah, two of swords, something's up in the air, something about it's a power struggle between you and this particular person. It's like, you know, some days it's good, some days it's bad. You you don't know how to compromise and the other person doesn't know how to compromise. Yeah, somebody's frustrated um, of, of how things are going and why it's taking so long. Uh, Knight of Wands, someone wonders if, if someone will ever do it or was this just to string me along? Um, says either you Scorpio or someone else what is the distant horizon distant horizon what is distant horizons what is distant okay yeah we have the ace of wands so I don't know with aces it's like a new start in something right just doing it doing something but um it also talks about sometimes lack of progression, especially when you're talking about a relationship that has history. So you might be in a relationship where this is lack of progressing to the next level, definitely uh, in terms of marriage or taking it to the next level in terms of maybe even, you know, commitment, you know, being a fiance, eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. It's like you want someone to state their intentions because the eight of wands talks about stating or declaring your intentions. So it's like you want someone to declare what they intend to do, how they intend to do it, when um, you want obstacles removed. And maybe the obstacle could be just that you guys are not having the conversation. All right. This could be what you want, Scorpio or the other person. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you.